All right, Coach. Um, you know, there, those first three sets were, you know, one way or the other way. Fourth set was nip and tuck. They had a match point. You guys are able to uh, find your way into that fifth set. Just overall, what are what are your thoughts on, on that match? What can you say about it at this point? Um, I'm so proud of the girls for putting it together right at the end there where it mattered. Um, they've been passing the ball so well tonight, and our hitters were off and on. I think we were affected in that second set when Evelyn went down. Um, so we weren't sure if she was coming back. And after that, she proved that she was going to play. Yeah. I just talked with three girls. I could have talked with a, you know, a number of different girls tonight because somebody okay. just kept stepping up uh, whenever you needed it. It was somebody else uh, at any different point. What, what, can you, what does that say about this team? This team is amazing this year. Anybody can step up. We're very well-rounded. They play for each other. They have fun. Um, they play loose. And when they do, um, they're really fun to watch and coach. Mm -hmm. What was the difference, do you think? I'm going to say uh, we just stayed loose, and we had to be very aggressive on defense. Mm -hmm. You can't just be tipping with Sydney team. They always put those balls up. We stayed aggressive. Yeah. When did you, or I guess what was the message going to that fifth set? You know, coming off of a, just a thrilling fourth set, sometimes you gotta, you got to bring the energy down a little bit to get it back mm -hmm. up, I suppose. I mean, what, what were you trying to say to the kids? I was just saying, hey, we, we just got to play loose, um, keep talking out there, keep passing the ball, and we have to hit. We get a good opportunity. We got to be swinging defensively, um, keep talking, keep moving, um, get everything up. They definitely listened to you. They were, they were, they were swinging from the hips. Um, Stanton coming up. Last time you saw him, you beat him in three sets. Yes. Uh, you know they're going to, you know. They're coming at him. You're, they're a very good You're going to be coming at him too. But uh, you betcha. What, what are your thoughts? Um, we just keep playing uh, the way we've been playing here in the postseason and putting it all together, and it's going to be just like tonight. It's mm -hmm. going to be a battle, and whoever makes the least amount of errors is going to win. Coach, congrats on the win. Thank you very much. All right, three big heroes tonight for East Mills. Evelyn, i got to start with you because I didn't know if I'd see you throughout that, you know, after that second set. Uh, tell me, first of all, the ankle, uh, what what'd you feel? And then uh, was there any question that you're going to come back in? Well, I just landed on the other girl's foot funny, but I knew I, I had to get back in. I taped it up pretty tight, and I was ready to play. Yeah, there was a time there, right when you did come back in, you weren't really jumping too much. But after a while, you, did you get used to the pain, or what, what, was, uh, what was going on there? I knew if I didn't jump, I wouldn't play the best for my team, and... We really wanted to win, and I, I had to do it for my team. Yeah. Your team fights off a match point, and you're able to force that fifth set. What was the what was the huddle like? What was the what was the feeling going into that fifth set? Connie was just telling us one point at a time. We were all had great energy. We won that fourth set. We were all just really positive with each other, giving a lot of high fives. It was a great environment. Yeah. All right, let's go here because that uh, kind of leads into my next question. Audrey, 24-23, you get the big block. That four, makes it 24-24, fights off that match point. Take me through that point. Um, well, I was like, I have to do it for my team. Like, this is will be our last game if we don't. And as seniors, that's a big deal for us. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to do this here against this Sydney team? I know you've had some great battles with them uh, over the years, but uh, man, this is this is your last game against them, and you get them in five on their home floor. Um, it's just amazing reading the KMA article. We went twenty, or we lost twenty-seven like games to them, and so just like coming out and proving everybody that we can do it is just amazing for me. Yep, perfect. Uh, congratulations. And now, Riley, you caught, you just caught out. You got on a heater there for a little bit in that fourth set. What was going on there? I knew I needed to step it up. I was, it was iffy with me at the beginning, but I knew I, I had to do it for my team. Mm. I had to step up and be the person to get those points for us. And you know, Sydney's never dead until they're, you know, you touch that 15th point. Yeah. So at 13 9, you get the 14th point, you get the 15th point. What, what, what was, what, what did you see on those plays? I just, we just, <laughs> that's all. That's all right. Bad question. Your last two swings, huge to get the win. What, what was going through your head in those situations? I wanted to win. I wanted our <laughs> team to win. We're, we're doing so good. We connected so well this this game. We just had to. Yeah. I just had to. All right, I'll let you answer the Stanton question. They are uh, the next opponent. You've seen them, obviously. What are your thoughts on uh, matching up with them again? It's going to be tough. We're going to... We're going to go out there, we're going to have fun, and we're going to win. Yeah. All right. Well, she just was that a guarantee, Coach? No, I'm just kidding. Riley, congratulations. <laughs> Girls, appreciate it. Good job.